All right, welcome to Atlanta for, uh, well, the qualifying race, actually. So this is how they are ordered, and looks like a truck already has issues. But this is just a qualifying race, and that's Tony Green. It's only a 10-lap qualifying race, so the top three starters will get points. Five for first, three for second, and one for third. So there's no overtime. So, of course. So it's our first time doing something like this. See how it works out. So as some of you already know, I stole the idea from Formula One. There'll be five qualifying races for the truck series. Our next time we're gonna the next time we're gonna do a qualifying race will be I need to open up the schedule. I'll be at Darlington, so that's in a few uh, races. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go green. Base truck is in. Getting ready for the first ever qualifying race in the truck series. And here we go. Green flag is out, and we're underway. Green, I believe, yep, still on pit road. Yeah, he's gonna start last for sure. Or very likely to start in last. Don't wanna make anything, don't wanna make any crazy moves here. Wanna save that truck. Although if anyone does wreck out or anything like that, they won't be sent to the back. Just to keep it simple. Would add to the drama, of course. Tina McCoy, he just won the cup race at Homestead. Now he's up front, looking to take the pole. Third truck now, Mr. Kasumi now taking second. He will take the lead now. Here comes Blake Peters in the 19. He'll take second. Don't think we're going to see any wrecks. But it's still possible here. McCoy way up the racetrack. Everyone just fighting for position here. These bonus points can be huge. As every point counts, as there's no playoffs to fall back on. Although, with my format, it would have been... Uh, no one gets locked in. Well, it turns out that was... That's what we were doing the entire time. For some reason, I just did not know that. When I did the playoffs, the win in your in system. As I think I hear Tony Green coming out. Alright, I guess these are just practice laps for him now. Yeah, so... Yeah. The 88's Matt McIntyre, second place right now, 3 wide for third. Is it worth wrecking up the truck just for 1, or 3, or 5 points? Well, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Here comes the 88 now. Five laps to go left in this qualifying race. The Nationals will also have one at Atlanta. And after that, the two will not have uh, qualifying races at the same track until the uh, season finale. So yeah, that's some ways to, to go there. Four laps to go. Three wide here. Two and 45. They got the 88. Now second and third. Here they come. Inching closer and closer to the 30. 
And there goes a two now to the inside. Three laps to go. Here's the others. Looks like this is where they're gonna start. Okay, none of these guys are making any big moves here. Let's still have as many positions as you can. Two ninety-eight fifty-one. Now the top three. Two laps to go. Here they go. Three wide. Kip Silverport with a big move. Oh, and there's a crash. The twenty-eight's in the wall. Now that is it. So we did have a crash. This will be for the for the race right here. Kip Silver Point in the fifty-one. Looking to take pole here. 98 to 52 second and third they move to the inside do they have enough momentum no they do not Kip Silver Point has taken it but we gotta wait till they cross the line while the checkers is out then it'll be official so we'll wait on that Jehodak second, May is third. We'll get organized here. Don't want to cross the line first. Okay, there we go. So unless another mechanical failure plague several points. Although she could probably just coast it to the line. And here they come. Checkers and yellow out at the same time. Kip Silver Point will win the first ever qualifying race in the Exalta Truck Series. And there it is. Mitchell Hodak may hate Jeff. I was told how to pronounce it and I forgot to look it up again. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. So, some Mao Keys in the 28. Daytona 500 winner. The 26 looks like it got into the wall, made contact with the 88. 88 gets into the back of Keys that spun him around. So, either gonna. Pull a, pull a uh, backup truck or get the thing repaired in time. 26, so that was close. Go to 21, got into the back of the 26 car or truck and into the outside wall. Yeah, that's quite a bit of damage there. We'll need to get that fixed or replaced. But yeah, we actually had a wreck in the qualifying race. I thought they were going to keep it clean and green. Guess not. Alright, so we'll see how they line up. Then we'll take you to the actual race. So, already know Kip Silver Point will start, and looks like we have a truck blowing up at the back. Don't matter, race is over. Mitchell Hodak will start second, and May will start third. So those will those drivers will receive the bonus points. For the rest, that's how they're gonna line up. And now we'll take you to the official race, at Atlanta. All right, here we go. Welcome everyone to Atlanta Motor Speedway for race number four of the Exalta Truck Series. As Kip Silver Point is on pole for winning the qualifying race. And about to get the race command here in a bit. You already know the full results. All right. Here it is. Crank them engines. Okay, engines fired up. We are ready to race here at Atlanta. Oh, got trouble. Again, another truck with issues. It's Wes McCoy. Oh, no, not Wes McCoy. Uh, Snow Chaser in the 56. Two truck all has issues. Yep, there he is on the inside. So the actual race is a little shorter than usual. As the 98. Yep, 98 now. Mitchell Hodak has problems. Brakes. On the 98 car. Or the truck, yeah. 
but whatever. If I say, if I get used to silence, just... I start saying trucks all the time. I'm gonna start referring to cars as trucks. Yeah, that's happened. But uh, here we go. Getting ready to go green. Capsular point will lead us to the line. And the green flag is out. We're underway here at Atlanta. Saw the four truck already hit the wall. Now it gets tricky there. The entrance of turn one. Three wide, here we go. Right from the start. Or not from the start, but on the first lap. Four wide already. They're gonna wreck Casey Nanico there. The homestead mine, the winner. Surprised they didn't crash. The 22, St. Dennis through the middle. The five truck of Raymond Fisher on the inside, making it a three for second. Here goes Brown in the 16. He's up to fourth, now looking for third. Here comes the 18 truck behind him. That'll help. Big run. Doesn't take a full advantage. He couldn't make it three wide. But chose not to. Four Toyotas. Now almost five. Here comes a 68. Drove two beat, uh, beat the 68 to the line there. So but there comes the 42 truck. Of, uh, that's Winnie Calhoun. Currently in fifth in that watermelon truck as Brown gets pushed to the front by the uh, by David Martins as he's now up to second. Now going for the lead, Calhoun. Martins through the middle. Unable to clear the 42. Our points leader. Now going to try to take the lead away. 12 points ahead in second place. The 99, Carter Joey down to the front. The 56 and last, probably a few laps down. Yeah, it looks like the 40's out for a tire. A lot of tire problems. 98 and the 2. Also, not on the lead lap. The 04. Trevor Collins in second now. The 8 of Kenny Johnson in third. Not painfully slow, the 56. Without the draft. Yeah, they're gonna... Don't think it's gonna be a big issue. Oh, got, oh, got a crash. A few trucks on the wall off turn two. The first yellow of the day. The 04 of Collins. Yeah, I don't think anyone is able to challenge him for the lead. And he'll easily take this yellow flag. All right, first caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. Didn't look like a big wreck. Unusual here at Atlanta, at least for the first caution. But yep, them going four wide. The nine from the bottom. He gets turned in front. That collected Fisher, May, Oaks, Keys, and oh, big hit. Tim Randolph and uh, Colton Wilcox. Yeah, those two are definitely out of the race. But we got one more truck. It was Mitchell Collins in the 68. It was all the way back here. Try to squeeze to the outside, but not enough room. And yep, Randolph and Wilcox will need to be towed back. Let's ride on board with uh, Colton here. 
Well, it's 38 the last time we crossed the line. It's like contact from, from Tim Randolph into the 21. Got him sideways and Wilcox, nothing he can do there. So our first caution of the day. Not a big wreck, but a big wreck for these two though. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So the 98, six laps down. The 56 is four laps and the two is just a lap. So four of those trucks on that crash are out of the race as we get set to go green. Collins is the leader. Followed by Johnson, Joey, and uh, is it her, is it Richie Hiroshi? Yeah, and Casey and Aniko. Green flag, we're back on our way. The lap trucks have very minor issues. Nothing that will affect the speed. They should be able to uh, get by the leader and get a lap back to two. Remember, he's just one lap down. The others, the other two trucks, yeah, there's several, uh, there are a few laps, a couple laps down. So there they go. Now they just need a yellow flag. Right now, they can get it. The 04 still has the lead. Oh, we might get one here. Trouble with the 15 of Toby McCoy. Yeah, that causes a stack up, and there they go. Oh, and a big pile up, big pile up in turn one and two. Or mostly two. Alright, racing it back. Hodak will be now five laps down. The two of Travis Chapman. Oh, he's gonna get beaten on the outside by the 04. Oh, what just happened there? I thought he had it. I guess not. Alright, second yellow of the night, or today. We'll take a look at the replay. Tell him McCoy having problems with this truck. Another tire failure. What's wrong with the tires today? So yeah, he's, he slows down in front of the pack. That causes a jam up. The 45, I mean the 42 is 16 and the 23. Then the 30. Yeah, they just all start piling into each other. Big pile up, but, not all, but uh, no big hits it looks like. I think all trucks should be okay. The 15, yeah, he gets run in the back by the 45. That sent him spinning. Looks like he had this thing avoided, but... Yeah, he just gets hit from behind. And that causes the big pile up there. So all trucks able to drive it back to pit road, or, or keep on rolling on the racetrack. The 12, Tito McCoy might need a small push, but his truck is fine. All right, 88 and as well, 45. Yeah, it her did appear to be stuck. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, getting ready to go green. At the 11, Eric Monaco is out. His piston just blew. So, yep, that's another one behind the wall. So now there's four trucks a lap down. One that's two laps, 56, four laps, 98, five laps. So less than 10 laps to go, so no lap trucks will start on the inside. A lot of crucial positions, Chapman missing out for not getting that lap back there. Colin just had a better truck it looks like, or it did, did look like Chapman checked up a little bit through the turns. Green flag, we're back underway. Nanako second, looking for his second win in a row already. Already had a repeat winner in the National Series. Now the trucks looks like it's gonna happen. It might happen. I get there for the first time already. Four races in, and there he goes. Wasted no time to make that pass. Not for a second though, the 56. Remember, it's four laps down. The 10 OS McCoy, currently in second. A lot of black and white trucks in this pack. 
Yeah, it's crazy how all the trucks all look the same. No variety at all. Only a few really stand out, like the double zero, the 33, the 04. Although their bases are still black or white, and the color pops out a lot more than the others. Like the 8, the 75, the 56. Yeah, those, there, those trucks do not pop out as well. Even though they do have some color on it. The 8 of Kenny Johnson now to the race lead. I think the 10 almost got turned and Nanako with the big crossover move. Now yeah, he wants to lead this race. Now yeah, he's still got 5 laps. Colin Cropley in a 13. So far he's had a good start to the season. Currently 2nd in points. 2 top 10s. 12 points behind the points leader who is currently in 5th. Seventy-five, Richie Hiroshi in third, four laps to go. Tony Green in the forty-four had issues in the qualifying race, started last, and look where he is now. Josh King behind him in the sixth had a vicious crash in the cup race at Homestead. Now running in fourth. A lot of trucks left to still win this race. Yeah, no big one. Like, you know what I mean by a big one. We had a big pile up, but not the big one. And I think uh, it's going to happen soon. Unless. Wow, they're able to clear pretty quick. These trucks seem a little, little bit unstable at, at times. Like, sometimes they can hold the bottom, sometimes they can't. Broken away a little bit, two laps to go. Here comes King on the inside. He'll take the lead away from Colin Cropley. Almost had a two truck go. Go around. Four wide. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. There goes the 98, the 33. And we're under caution and we're gonna go to overtime again. For the second race in a row. All right, let's see how they all line up. Or no, let me take a look at the replay first. What am I saying? Yeah, they could not hang on. There are four wide, the two there was on the inside. Yeah, the two had no reason to do this. He's not racing for position. He gets in the 10 truck. Although he is only one lap down. We go in overtime, he gets a lap back, so. Okay, it's pretty, uh, maybe it was in intentional or not, but yeah, just with the two truck doing that, I mean, yeah, he's probably upset that he couldn't get that lap back earlier, so he causes a wreck with two laps to go. It's possible, I'm not pointing fingers, but it's, it, it's likely, it's likely that he uh, did that on purpose. But alright, so very, very little damage, no, no other trucks were involved. So uh, we'll see how they line up, then we'll take you to overtime. So Josh King will lead us, as there are going to be 27 trucks restarting. As anyone who is more than a lap down, that's their, they will be parked. And yep, that's the official results for any of the guys that are out of the race. Alright, overtime for the third season, or third race of the season, second race in a row. Alright, let's take you to it. All right, overtime once again. Who's gonna win it this time? Can Josh King hang on, hang on or will it be someone all the way from the back? Or anyone, for that matter. Can any of those lap trucks do it? I know it's gonna have a huge wreck to get through and win the race. Here we go. Pace truck is in. Two laps to go. Left here at Atlanta. All right, green flag is waving. And we're back underway. King with the 
good restart to 26 as well. Blinding Blaze up to second. The outside line not moving at all. Yeah, they're pushing hard, but it's not helping. It's not working. Here comes Lightning Blaze on the inside. So far, so good. All clean. Oh, but they are pushing hard. Might have ourselves a spinner soon. All right, here we go. White flag, one more lap to go. Big lead for the 26, the 34 in second. Two tenths ahead. Trucks all over the place. Somewhat. I think the 26 is gonna do it. Here today. Somehow they all made it. Oh, not yet, not yet. Here they come. Checkered flag, and oh, there they go. Now they're wrecking. And the 26, the Lightning Blaze wins the race as they pile in. Coming to the line. Oh, the three. Big hit. Really big hit by the three truck. All right, let's take a look at the full race results. So, Lightning Blaze, the winner today. Uh, step in a 34 truck. In second, Wes McCoy, third, Richie Hiroshi, fourth, Tony Green, fifth, Max Anderson, sixth, David St. Dennis, eighth, Carter Joy, ninth, Colin Cropley, or Carter Joy, eighth, Colin Cropley, ninth, and Rain Fisher, tenth. As you can see, the rest of the race results, and let's take a look at the replay before we take you to victory lane. So it looks like it started with the 97 and the 44, or no, the 97 and the 04. The 04 Collins looked a little bit, came up, hooked the back end. Got the 18, the 24, and the 13, but they kept going through the grass. And they lost a lot of spots. They're like, I don't know, a few meters to the line. And that three truck, oh man. Oh, hit the right at the end of the safer barrier. That's why he picked up so much damage hitting the walls at a very slow speed. At 80 miles an hour, oh. That was a big hit. But he already went across the line. He finished third, uh, 23rd for the others. Yep. So these guys were in the top 10. Looking to get a top 10 finish. And then just like that, they lose it all again. Or, yeah. Something like that, I guess. But everyone slid to the line. Everyone was able to finish off, finish the race. So that is all here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Lightning Blaze is the winner today. One out to get to victory lane.